it's a shot away. Joseph makes a save. Big rebound. They score. It's a goal by Hunter. As he got the rebound. Playing in a second game in the National Hockey League. Brilliant. Bates over the line. The Hunter, he fires. He's got John Erskine. But Hunter has it. Hunter behind the net. Out from behind. Turns. Shatan, quick drive, rebound for Hunter, rebound, they score! On in front for a moment, now Campoli fires, deflects, they score! Hunter looked like he got a piece of it. Campoli rolls and shoots, deflects, and scores! the New York Islanders, that's going to cause a problem. Little line changing by Teddy Nolan. He has Kozlov with Hunter and with Ryan Smith trying to get a bigger body presence. Trent Hunter's a big body. Kozlov's a big body. Smith's a big body. Trent Hunter jumps on that loose puck with a lot of white sweaters just looking around and fishing for the puck. Good on Trent Hunter. That's the effort the Sabres needed. Get a little speed. Get a little forecheck. Get a little finish. Trent Hunter with his second goal in as many games. That's what he's best at. Fedotenko fed it across. Hunter is out. He scores! Trent Hunter! Tie game! Chances eight shots to none for the Islanders here in this third period when they got that goal. Quick shot by Hunter. He retakes the lead. Trent Hunter let it go with a one-timer. The gun of a shot. Pass Flurry to make it 3-2. I was afraid that next shot by the Islanders might go in, and it did. The off-ice officials get another look. With two goals. to that as well. Not only the goals, but 10 hits in the game for Trent Hunter. And for that, he gets to talk with Deb Kaufman. Trent, I have to ask you, with the 1980 Cup team upstairs, were you thinking about them more when you were trailing or once you took the lead? Well, I think, you know, it was a, a huge boost for us tonight to uh, to have these guys here. You know, they, uh, they did some amazing things for the island and, you know, uh, we're it was uh, nice to uh, to win the game. Who is the coolest one that you met? Well, they're all pretty cool, you know, uh, to get a chance. Uh, you hear so much about them, and, and to actually get the opportunity to meet them, uh, you know, it was a great honor. Chris Campoli took the long shot that you may have tipped to go in. What did you see? Well, I, just trying to get in front and, and cause havoc with the goalie, and uh, 
you know, Campy did a great job of, uh, of getting the puck through and uh, we're pretty happy to see it go in. You're gaining some ground on Toronto and Boston and some of the other teams right ahead of you. How do you guys focus on just playing the next game? Well, I think, you know, uh, every game is so important for us right now and, you know, we do have to just focus, uh, you know, one, one game at a time. But, uh, you know, it was uh, a good start uh, getting these two wins at home and uh, now we got some big games on the road. Now, it just seemed like every time there was a bit of a lull, you guys did something to get the crowd back in the game. How much energy did you feel in the building tonight, especially after the ceremony? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, you know, you definitely uh, feed off the fans and there was a lot of energy and, uh, you know, it, uh, it was a lot of fun tonight. Congratulations on the win, Trent. Thank you. Thank you. Trent Hunter credited with a couple of goals tonight. The Islanders are credited with two big points that they needed, Howie and Joe. They needed them, they got them, and they made their ancestors proud. 1980 team on hand all day. And, uh, in front of the first of the four straight Stanley Cup champions, the current day Islanders win a big one, 4-2. We'll be back in a moment.